After 10 days away, my lawn needed a mowing. And I, oh, appreciate, yeah. I think my neighbors mostly appreciate <laughs> the fact that I could do that today. Yes. Yeah, why didn't you have your neighbors just to take care of it, huh? <laughs> better neighbors. I think your neighbors like you better than, than nope, my neighbors no. like me. <laughs> they would not do the same for me. But yes, we've uh, been enduring a fairly active weather pattern here last week, week and a half. Uh, and so that has necessitated some slightly more regular mowings of the lawn here. Things have dried out here the last couple of days, though. By and large, we've had quiet conditions with just a few interruptions from time to time. This is a live look at our Eldridge Roofing River Camp, showing a decoration of cumulus clouds over the re uh, region. But for the time being, no problems, uh, no rain being deposited uh, by those clouds. We've made our way up into between 80 and 83 degrees, so rather seasonable day, but noticeably more humid out there as the dew points have climbed into the 65 to, uh, to 65 to 70 degree range. 65 is when it really starts feeling more uncomfortable. 70, that's where it starts feeling more on the oppressive side. Well, we're not going to lose the humidity anytime soon, although it's not necessarily going to be unbearable, at least for the majority of this work week, but it will be noticeable all week long. There won't be those days where you have the free AC like that we did here last week for a time. Meanwhile, as we get closer to the weekend, that's when we're going to start to see a much more precipitous change in the weather pattern, one that's likely to be hotter and increasingly humid, perhaps for a three or four day period of time, which we should typically expect considering we're now entering what is historically our hottest time of the year. Winds out of the southwest are blowing at around 10 miles per hour, and that will continue to uh, allow for the humidity to at least remain uh, present. It's not going to be unbearable here, but uh, with enough moisture present, there could be an occasional shower or storm that may attempt to blossom, as has been the case in the northern suburbs of Chicago and now into the southern portion of Lake Michigan. On the other side of Lake Michigan, showers are a bit more numerous. What I'll be watching here in the short term is that cluster of showers and storms, which looks to be fading away across northeastern portions of Iowa, but still will need to be watched. Meanwhile, the big national weather story is uh, what was once Hurricane Barrel, now a tropical storm and soon to become a tropical depression, bringing flooding rains into the deep south in northeastern Texas, and that's even extending rain all the way into southern portions of Missouri. Now, the question is, what happens with Barrel moving forward, and should we expect any direct impacts here? There's been for a time a signal that uh, Barrel would at least come close enough that it could bring us some decent rainfall, but now it appears as though the heaviest of the rain will pass just to the south and east of the state line proper. Meanwhile, though, we will certainly see more cloudiness from Barrel starting later tonight and really residing across the region for most, if not all, of tomorrow. But as far as precipitation goes, there's going to be a rather sharp cutoff where there could be some decent rains into the Chicago metro area, heavy rains in northern Indiana, but little, if any, direct rainfall here. I think we'll get some rainfall out of it here uh, tomorrow night or early Wednesday, but it does not appear as though it'll be a high impact affair. Better rain chances for us will come with the cold front that passes through late Wednesday and into early Thursday morning. For our Tuesday, however, we're sending temperatures back into the lower 80s, 82 degrees with cloudy skies and showers mainly south and east. And that'll be mainly late in the day or at night. 81 on Wednesday, hit or miss storm. 84 Thursday, and then a big warm up uh, begins on Friday as we're in the mid 80s, upper 80s on Saturday. But thankfully, the most intense heat holds off until just after uh, Alpine Kiwanis Brat days. Uh, Sunday, Monday, we're targeting sure. temperatures in the lower and even middle 90s. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy for sure. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we shall see. We yeah. shall. All right. Thanks, Mark.